What's up guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to screenshot on Windows 11 using the snipping tool. Now, the snipping tool comes with every copy of Windows and you can use it to take screenshots and the instructions are going to apply to any computer using Windows 11. Now, of course, you can use keyboard shortcuts to take screenshots on Windows 11, but different computers have different keyboards and different keyboard layouts and sometimes you might get confused as what exactly to do to take a screenshot but with the snipping tool it's exactly the same so let's start by launching snipping tool so click on the start menu and then in the search bar at the top just type snipping tool and even before you finish typing snipping tool will appear in the best match results so click on that and that will bring you this little window and this is the snipping tool so at the top here on the left you have new this basically tells snipping tool you're ready to take a new screenshot and then here you have the screenshot mode and i'll go through all the modes in a moment and then here you can set a delay for your screenshot maybe you want no delay or maybe three seconds five seconds ten seconds whatever you choose and then on the extreme right hand side you have a little menu from where you can choose to open file send feedback a couple of settings and a few tips and tricks anyway so let's take a few screenshots with the snipping tool. Now, when it's in rectangle mode, as soon as you click on new, the screen will go dark and it's basically going to let you draw a rectangle on the area you want to take a screenshot off. So hold your left mouse button in, drag, and then release. And that will take a screenshot and it's gonna open the screenshot inside the snipping tool. Once the screenshot is taken, you have the options to draw a few things inside there. You can choose a thicker pen. You can change colors. Draw and annotate on the screenshot. You can crop. You can go back. And once you're happy with the screenshot, click on the save button right here. Choose where you want to save your screenshot, rename the screenshot, and then save it. So that's the first method. So once again, I'll click on new to initiate a new screenshot. The screen will go dark once again and i can even choose a screenshot mode from here so as you can see here we had the rectangular mode here we have a free form snip this basically lets you draw any shape around which you want to take a screenshot so let's say for instance you want to take a screenshot of uh something just remotely circular it's gonna take the screenshot it's gonna present for you the screenshot just like that and from here you can do all the same things you can crop and then you can save all right all right so let's say you want to take a screenshot of a specific window and you have a couple of windows open like i have on my desktop again on the snipping tool click on new and then make sure you select the window snip this one right here or the window mode so if you click on that it's going to let you select a specific window you want to screenshot for instance if i want to screenshot the entire desktop Place your mouse cursor on the desktop. If you want to screenshot that window, then I'll put my mouse cursor there. If I want to screenshot this window, I'll put my mouse cursor there. And make sure the window you want to screenshot is on top. So for instance, if I want to screenshot this window, I'll need to make sure it's the window on top. And simply click on it. And the snipping tool will take a screenshot of that specific window. And then once again, I can annotate, I can draw things, I can save. And then of course, lastly, if you click on new again, you should have the option to take a full screen snip or, or a full screen window. This basically takes a screenshot of the entire screen. So if you click on that, basically takes a screenshot of your entire screen. And from here again, crop, annotate, save. And that's basically how to take screenshots using the snipping tool in Windows 11. You can see it's a very elaborate tool for taking screenshots. You can take just about any screenshot you can think of. And if you take screenshots a lot, then you can even pin the snipping tool on your taskbar for easy access. To do that, again, go to the start menu, type snipping tool. And once it appears in the search results, you can right click on it and then select pin to taskbar. You can also choose to pin it to the start menu so it can appear there. Let me pin it to both just to show you what it looks like. So if you pin to taskbar, it's going to always be on the taskbar just for quick access. You can just click on it quickly 
and access the snipping tool to take screenshots. If you want it in the start menu, again, go to snip, right click on it and then select paint to start. So now, anytime you want to quickly access the snipping tool, you can click on the start menu and then select snipping tool from there. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.